today we are presenting an overview of Sage Science's product line and highlighting the more common applications for each instrument platform. We will also provide some updates about our HLS catch method for sequencing high molecular weight targets. Sage Science products are developed based on the premise that high value steps in the DNA sequencing workflow can be automated in a way that improves the quality and consistency of the sequencing results. With our first product, the Pippin Prep, we address the common practice of purification of DNA from agarose or acrylamide gels. Manual gel purification is a time-consuming and highly inaccurate method. We found an audience by automating this process and listening to researchers' needs. As the sequencing technologies have evolved, so have Sage Science products and applications. Our instrument platforms feature SAGE's proprietary technology for size selecting and purifying DNA using agarose gel electrophoresis. With this approach, DNA is separated by size in one dimension and then collected into a size bin or bins by electroelution in a second dimension. This offers key advantages over other methods. It is guided by software, highly reproducible, and free of cross-sample contamination. The Pippin Prep has a size selection range between 100 base pair to 1.5 kb. It is typically used with the Illumina sequencing platform, particularly for these methods. Paired end library prep, cleanup of PCR primers or sequencing adapters, microRNA library isolation, chip seek, and reduced representation library prep. Genotyping by sequencing has emerged as one of the key methods for working with non-model organisms in the absence of complete reference genomes. Double digest restriction site associated DNA, or DDRADSeq, has become a popular and inexpensive method for genotyping populations for metagenomic studies. Accurate DNA size selection is a requirement for this method, and the Pippin Prep provides these researchers a means to obtain more economy from their precious sequencing resources as these studies tend to have tight budgets. DD RADSeq was a key improvement on the RADSeq method, which involves using a rare cut site restriction enzyme and making Illumina libraries to sequence from those cut sites. By barcoding individual samples, SNP data is used to genotype from these reduced representation sequences. DDRADSeq introduces a second restriction enzyme to the process with a more common cut site. By combining both enzymes and precise size selection, the usefulness of the sequencing libraries are improved manyfold. Libraries that are smaller than the size selection range here labeled A, are excluded, and libraries that are above the size selection range, shown here as B, are also excluded. This further reduces the representation and ensures the likelihood that sequence will be derived from just one direction from the cut site rather than two. There are many variations of this method that require precise DNA size selection, and a number of benefits are achieved. A reduced cost per genotype, assays can be tuned with enzyme selection, and higher confidence sampling of SNPs associated with a given cut site. In research fields, DDRADSeq is used by those studying population genetics, metagenomics, and evolutionary biology. Commercially, the technique is very popular for trait selection for plant or animal breeders. The Blue Pippin provides the exact same features and benefits to Illumina users as the Pippin Prep. However, in addition, it addresses long read sequencers such as PacBio and Oxford Nanopore. By equipping the Blue Pippin with a pulsed field power supply, 
longer DNA molecules, up to 50 kb, can be electrophoretically resolved. The key application for these long read sequencers is the high pass size selection protocol. After setting a lower size threshold, only fragments above that size are collected. For long read platforms, smaller molecules will preferentially sequence due to a higher rate of diffusion to the sequencing detector. By removing smaller fragments, average read lengths are increased significantly. Pulsed field electrophoresis requires significantly longer run times than direct current electrophoresis. To this end, we designed the High Pass Plus cassette. By shortening the agarose column length, a high pass protocol can be run in one half to one third of the time of a standard cassette. The sample well was also enlarged, allowing higher DNA sample input, doubling the maximum load amount from five to 10 micrograms. This can be a useful feature as long read sequencers often require a high input load. The high pass protocol can only be used for 15, 20, or 30 kb cutoff threshold protocols. It cannot be used for other size selection protocols. The high pass protocol can have a large effect on yield since a substantial amount of input fragments are removed. It is important to manage the initial DNA fragmentation conditions and to work with fresh DNA samples. As illustrated here, if the input fragment distribution is not centered around high molecular weight molecules, the high pass could significantly reduce product yield. A good way to evaluate input fragment distributions and DNA quality is to use the Pippin Pulse. The Pippin Pulse is a unit that contains the same pulsed field electrophoresis power supply as the Blue Pippin. The pulse field software can be run from a user-supplied computer, and gels are run on a MIDI box that has been modified with a reinforced platinum electrode. The Pippin Pulse can resolve DNA up to 400 kb at a price that is one-tenth to one-twentieth of a BioRad Chef Mapper or the Agilent Femto Pulse. It is an inexpensive alternative for the QC of input DNA and occupies very little laboratory bench space. High quality extracted DNA will show most DNA fragments above 50 kb. Sheared or fragmented DNA can also be analyzed to determine the distribution of high molecular weight fragments. This gel compares sheared input DNA with different high pass cutoff parameters. The Pippin HT runs one or two 12-lane cassettes. The smaller sample lanes run much faster than the Pippin Prep and Blue Pippin, which allows up to 96 samples to be processed in a workday. The instrument also includes pulsed field functionality, but for high-pass protocols only. And the per sample size selection cost is one half of that of the other products in the line. Users should take notice that the maximum DNA input requirement, 1.5 micrograms, is significantly lower than the 5 microgram maximum of the Pippin Prep and Blue Pippin. We find that one of the most common uses for the Pippin HT is microRNA library isolation. MicroRNAs are about 22 base pairs in length, and after Illumina adapters are ligated, depending on the kit used, the sequenceable microRNA targets are about 150 base pairs in length. Since only a fraction of the sequence is collected, it is very helpful to eliminate adapter dimers and non-microRNA species from the libraries. This is illustrated here on the New England BioLab's NEB Next Small RNA Library Kit support site for the Pippin Prep. Since microRNA studies are often part of time-based gene expression studies and are often comparative, the sample throughput needs can be much higher than provided by the Pippin Prep. The Pippin HT is the best way to meet this need as these important studies become larger and larger. 
Users should note, though, that different library prep kits can require different size selection conditions. The Sage Elf platform was developed with a different approach in mind. By size fractionating the entire DNA sample or library, a fraction could be used for library construction, while the remaining fractions could be preserved and archived if need be. Although not as precise, that is the size selection is not accurately programmed by software, the true fragment distribution of a fraction can be measured on a bioanalyzer and the optimum fraction can be selected. If more sample is required, DNA from the adjacent well or wells can be added. An interesting aspect of the Sage Elf is that size fractions can be achieved that have a narrower fragment distribution than the Pippin line of products, particularly at higher molecular weights. This is due to the rectangular dimensions of the gel column when compared to the Pippin cassettes, which have a tapered column. Due to this feature, the Sage Elf has become a preferred method to size select for PacBio's circular consensus sequencing, also called Hi-Fi sequencing. PacBio found that they could exploit their increasing read length capability up to 200 KB by limiting the smart bell insert sizes to 10 KB and continuing to resequence the 10 KB circular smart bell up to 20 times. By doing this, the consensus read accuracy improves such that it is comparable to Illumina's raw sequencing accuracy. For this application, the Sage Elf's ability to fractionate with narrow size distributions is very useful since uniform library inserts for the Hi-Fi method vastly improves the quality of the result. Currently, PacBio recommends Hi-Fi for up to 20 KB inserts and likely higher in the future. The Hi-Fi method will likely set the new gold standard for de novo whole genome sequencing. The Sage HLS platform also features size fractionation, but with six fractionation wells instead of 12, and double the throughput of the Sage ELF, four samples per run rather than two. The primary application for the platform is one we call HLS Catch, which is a method to collect target genes or genomic regions directly from cell suspensions. For instance, White blood cells or cell line suspensions are loaded onto the cassette rather than DNA or DNA libraries. By performing DNA extraction directly within the cassette, the fragmentation that occurs during conventional extraction from spin columns, phenol extraction, and even pipetting can be avoided. By placing a well behind the sample well, a lysis reagent can be used to extract DNA from cells within the sample well. In this way, intact genomic DNA can be captured just within the surface of the agaros. This unfragmented DNA can be treated with CRISPR-Cas9 digestion. By designing guide RNAs to flank a region of interest, targets up to hundreds of kilobases long can be purified. Multiple regions can also be targeted by multiplexing the guide RNA design, and very large regions can be purified by designing the guides as alternating tiles. The most important benefit to HLS Catch is that intact genes can be purified and interrogated for complicated rearrangements or repeat regions which can be medically or scientifically significant. The alternative method would be very expensive whole genome sequencing using either PacBio or Oxford Nanopore, requiring the collection of the billions of bases of sequence while only millions of bases are required for HLS catch. These analyses also require long read analysis, but at a fraction of the cost. We anticipate a publication this year using HLS catch for breast and ovarian cancer panels which we will post a link to below when it is available. 
This scientific poster from a team that includes our collaborators at Stanford University can be viewed with the link provided. Another application, which can be addressed by Illumina sequencing, is the analysis of genes that have homologous but dormant pseudogenes. By purifying the target gene prior to analysis, sequencing ambiguity resulting from standard target enrichment techniques using probes or baits can be avoided. A good example of a medically relevant pseudogene is the PKD1 gene, which is implicated in polycystic kidney disease. This gene has six pseudogenes in relative proximity on chromosome 16, which make analysis of PKD1 very difficult. We have designed guide RNAs to isolate this target, and we also expect a publication on this application from a collaborator later this year. HLS Catch is also a good method for preparing linked read barcode libraries. Phased haplotype sequences of a large genes or genomic regions can be assembled from HLS catch high molecular weight targets using Illumina sequencing. A successful study, also from Stanford, assembled a phased sequence of the 4 megabase MHC histocompatibility complex. This study used the 10x genomics chromium linked read platform, which 10x no longer supports. However, there are a number of companies developing similar approaches. One such company, Universal Sequencing, presented a scientific poster that includes HLS catch data linked below. A nice advantage of this technique is that it uses Illumina sequencing and that it requires a relatively small amount of DNA input when compared to long read sequencing analysis. The SAGE HLS can also be used for DNA size selection, like the SAGE ELF, starting with a DNA sample or library. We have created a tutorial video for size selection, as well as videos for HLS catch and guide RNA design that can be linked to from the video guides section of the SAGE Science support site. Thank you for listening and we look forward to getting back to fully supporting the research industry and working with our partners around the world.